Today, we take on the Megapithecus, our second boss fight of the series, and I would absolutely love to tell you that everything went swimmingly, but something rather unexpected happened. Stick around to the end to discover what it was, but for now, we were hot off the press and defeating the Broodmother. The massive creepy crawly did not stand a chance against our Rexes. It turned out as well that her head made a fantastic wall piece. <laughs> yes, do no, do no, do. <laughs> look at it. Oh, you know, I still I look back on um the emotions that I went through. Uh, when we defeated the Broodmother in the last episode, link is in the description. Um, make sure you go check it out if you hasn't, if you haven't. And the the range of emotions that I went through is something that I've seldom experienced in a video game. I was genuinely, physically nauseous at the prospect of doing it. I'm so I I am so I can, I have never ever ever been this nervous before in a video game. And the elation that I got was so cringeworthy, but also incredibly true and authentic. Wait, 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 wait. I eat spiders, there might be more spiders. And I just, I'm so happy that we went through and we didn't die, we didn't lose our gear, we didn't lose high level dinos. However, however, we cannot afford to take this confidence with us into the next one. I don't want to think for a second that the next boss is going to be just as easy as this one. What was that? Which boss are you going to do? I don't actually know. I've not thought about it, but I think... Right, well, there's a red obelisk. Is there how many obelisks are there? How many are there? 36, counted them myself. 36, 36, well last year, last year, 37. I'm thinking the one at the top here. I don't know what's the, which one that is. The, uh, the blue one, not the red one. Maybe we try that one. Don't know, I'll decide later. You'll know from the title and the thumbnail. But I'm very happy we did that. Look, we should also, ah, here it is, get. <laughs> yes. No, oh, that needs to go outside, doesn't it? This needs to be shown off to the entire world. Oh, can I put it on top of that? Is that right? Yes! Look at that. <laughs> Next to the cannon. Oh, superb. But it went very, very well. But what I want to do is, like I said, not rest on my laurels. Not rest on my laurels. That's not... Is that the word? That's not a word, is it? Rest on my laurels. It is. What What does a laurel mean? Praise for a person because of something they have done. Usually in sports, arts, politics. That's never... Th not neither of those three. Okay. Well, there you go. I never thought about that before. But, yeah. Laurels is a, is a thing. I'm not resting on them. We certainly won't be resting on any laurels. In fact, we were going to do the complete opposite of resting on them. We would actively fight them, if that's a thing. You see, I didn't want to take for granted that this boss was going to be as simple as the Broodmother. So we decided to revisit some old arch enemies in our more mature state. We were going back to some caves. And I'm not just talking about the swamp cave next to the base either. We hopped on top of Barney and took off to revisit a place which had caused us so much trouble in the past. Isn't that pretty? Thank you very much, Narration Butch. You, you're doing really well at holding the viewers' attention. I applaud you. I sure hope they've subscribed by now. As I was, as he was saying, I was saying, let's take a trip down memory lane here. Ooh, that's probably more damage than this guy's going to take an entire cave. Do you remember the very first cave? Uh, it's behind me, isn't it? This way. 
Now, I actually, oh, here it is. I actually had a colossal mess up with this because the recording didn't work when I originally went into this cave. And we had so much trouble. So much trouble. Do you remember, oh, what was the dino's name? The first, the first Kano that we had. What was his name? I think it was Steve. Oh my God, we still have Sarkos in here. No way. What's going on, guys? I'm. So, if I'd have, if I'd have known, I would have brought um uh what you call it? I would have brought uh food uh cryopods. <laughs> That's what I meant. Well, there you go. I have some levels up. What about you as well? Do you want some level ups? Yes. Oh, good to see you, troops. Ah, uh, yeah. Unless Dvani... No, we don't We don't have any cryopods. My bad. But Steve, I think, had 2,000 health at the time or something, which I thought was insane and really, really good and things. And we've come, up, we've come a long way since then. But I can hardly remember the cave. So what I thought I'd do is we'd nip down in Barney. Now, again, I don't want to get overconfident or cocky here, but we want to see if there's some supply drops or anything. Um, stuff that we can look out for and just you know kill some things and and uh, and just prepare for the for the next boss the the one at the ice if that's the one that i'm going for i don't think there was any drop offs i'm not i'm not doing any caves where there's any dropping off into lava or anything like that oh and we see we came around this corner we see a bunch of spiders and shit our pants <laughs> and then now look at us boys and girls now look at us i can take on the world i can actually take on the world 110 that's nothing mate i'm so proud of me because <laughs> the first time we did this how many dinos was it that we had come through it's quite a lot but it's worth us like collecting the artifacts as well uh to get some spare ones just just so we can have you know spares if we need them is this is this the artifact? Oh god, this cave is much easier, isn't it? Oh, that's one we've just done as well, isn't it? Was there any? There was cave supply drops in this one, wasn't there? I don't know if there's certain caves that have like the best kind of um, supply drops. Like, is that a thing, or is it just random amongst all of the different caves? I don't, I don't see a a supply drop. I can't remember if there was one or not. It's still cool to be back here, though. Like, literally breezing through it. <laughs> it caused us uh, so much pain and misery when we when we first came through. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Something spat at me, then. Oh, that needs to die. That needs to die. That needs to die. That needs to die. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. All oh, good. We all good. We all good. Right, yeah, I remember this because the, the thing was up there. And we shot it and killed it and then I came... Oh, shit, I came around this way. But I, it, it was that long ago that I can't... Oh, no, there is one! Look at this! It's a green one. All right, so it's not the highest... Maybe there are certain caves then which are better than others then. Oh. Oh my god. I love that in Ark there's like a mini game which is like built into the game and, and everybody plays it but you don't actually know that it's there. And it's sometimes when you do something wrong, when you look at the game the wrong way or you know, breathe, the game might shit itself or it might not. And that's the game. Every time I kill something, um, the game's like, ah, do, do I want to give up? Do I want this to end? We had got our hands on a supply drop, but truth be told, there was nothing in here that would be an improvement on anything that we had. We didn't let that stop us searching for more though, so we decided to wander on over to another cave that I had marked on a map previously. After 46 episodes, Things certainly do blend into one, and I couldn't remember for the life of me which cave this was. I don't... I don't remember this one. I have no memory of this place. Hold up. Let me get rid of some of these. Is, was this a folly over one here? No. Which one is this? Oh, 
I'm confused. I don't, I have the worst memory. Wait. Where is everybody? Oh, it's this one. No, 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 no. We we don't have a cryopod, so we can't do that one. Um, but we know that there's a supply drop down there. In the end, we decided that it just wasn't worth the risk. In order to get down to the drop, you had to drop down this massive cliff or use a cryopod. And I didn't have one of those on me just now. Rather than risk it all, we played it safe and left the cave and its tempting loot behind. Given that we had now entered two caves and didn't have a huge amount to show for it, we decided to play it slightly safer and head back to the swamp cave as we knew there was a few supply drops in there and this would increase our chances of getting something tasty. So we headed back, grabbed the gas mask and arrived at the entrance to the cave. Ah, right. Gas mask on, gun out, let's go. So we know this one, we're familiar with this one. This is now officially, actually the lava cave will be the cave that I've gone into the most amount of times, simply because I died so much. But this is the, mo the, like, the most I've voluntarily gone into a cave. I don't think it's reset. Oh no, I guess the bugs are here. But there's no like spider bugs. There's just snails. There's nothing here. There's not even leeches. Oh, uh, an ascendant pike and some uh, arrows that we don't need. Why is there nothing? I'm not complaining. Oh, the thing is, though, I'm going to get those comments, which are like, Watch has modified his settings again. I just want to clarify something. Maybe we will take this point to talk about uh, a couple of things. Is that um, people got very, very... Uh, Enthusiastic, passionate. I'm going to use the word passionate. They're completely entitled to their opinions. Absolutely. This isn't me bashing them. Um, maybe it's me bashing their opinion a little bit. But people got very passionate when I went into the snow cave. And that's where it started because uh, people said it was too easy for me and I should have struggled more because of the cryo mod. Now, I can absolutely imagine that it is much, much harder to do if you don't have that cryo mod. However, I did. And I did it. And I was very proud of doing it. And I know that when I beat the brood mother, uh, that people were saying it was quite anticlimactic. Because um, there was wanting to be that big struggle there. And I'm okay, no problem at all. For me, it was one of the, you know, best gaming experiences I've ever had beating it. Um, again, I... Oh, there is stuff here. Uh, I, one, I guess, thing to to reiterate oh hold up <laughs> oh i hate it when this happens because my pc <laughs> gets awfully toasty got all the numbers but um this is a first time playthrough i i i don't i don't know how easy and hard things are i don't know i don't know how the game is supposed to be played because i've never watched anything for it I'm playing it the way that I want to play it. And that means going on the easy bosses because games don't have to be challenging all the time. You don't have to make them as difficult as humanly possible to overcome that. If that's what you want to do, then that's absolutely fantastic. But never once have I ever alluded that that is something that I'm interested in doing. So very, very sorry if you're thinking that the playthrough has now become too easy for me. What I like to think is I've put in a lot of time and preparation of, and I'm now understanding the mechanics of the game so that I can go and do these things and make them look easy. When they're not easy because you still have to graft and grind. I mean, the only reason that the Broodmother was easy was because I spent six hours leveling up 18 Rexes and stuff like that. But anyway, each to their own. I'm very sorry that people get annoyed at that. And the one thing that, you know, people did get annoyed at me as well is even the barriers behind in the um, in the sea cave. And that, for that, I truly am sorry. I am. It's just, I hated that place. I would, any other, any other way, like... Me leaving those barriers behind wasn't because I didn't feel anything for the barriers. It was because I hate the ocean so much that my negative feelings towards the ocean outweighed my positive feelings towards my barriers. Okay. I'm sorry. 
If I could describe the art community in one word, it's passionate. I have never known so many people put so many hours into a game. There are people with literal tens of thousands of hours in the game and that is mind blowing and it's a testament to ARK. People love this game and I mean love it. All you have to do is look around on YouTube and see so many incredible playthroughs over the years. This series is my contribution to the ARK community, albeit a relatively small one. Coming into this game for the first time years after the game has been around has been so much fun. I've made some mistakes along the way, but I think we've also had some pretty epic moments together too. Games are about escapism, they're about immersion, they're about that rush that you get when you finally achieve something amazing. Now, you might get that rush after wiping out an entire tribe with your super mutated Giga Rex and that must be an incredible feeling, but my rush? That comes from beating the Broodmother on Gamma. That was my victory. I'm not at the levels of some of the other players out there, and I will never be at that level, but nor would I want to be there really. One man's trash is another man's treasure, but one man's warm up is another man's main event. This game might be easy for you, but you're curling out footlongs in the toilet, and I, I'm still learning how to use the potty. Speaking of learning however, when we returned back to the base after not finding anything too useful in the cave, we decided to open up our engrams. Wait, what can I, um... What can I do with element? A strange, highly advanced material humming with energy and dissolves when transfers across to arcs. Arcs! That means Ark is a place. No? Arcs. Must be. Interesting. I'll ponder that as I look through... What was that thing? Literally, what's it called? I've literally just looked at it and I've forgotten the name of it. Element. Is there anything I can do with element? Ele no. Element, element, elevator. Do you mean lift? Look at that, all this stuff for the mods, which I'm not using because people will shout at me. But we've pretty much got. I mean, the thing is with Ark, though, I could build anything now. But for me, my main goal is to beat the bosses. My main goal is to blow up and. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm wondering, though, if. Oh! What are these? A tech replicator. Element 100? What? A hundred, wait. So I would literally have to do Broody five times. How many, how many elements did I get? 20? Oh, for the love of God. For the love of... I bet you the tech replicate is where I'll like build all of this shit. But then again, would you need the element to get all that? Element, element, element. Oh, right. That, that looks like... Let me try and guess what all of these are, right? <clears throat> that is a rug. That's a special rug. That's like a wireless charging rug. It's got like two different gradient patterns. That is also an oval rug. That is a wall. That's an element signpost. It's probably RGB or something. That's a triangle. That's a pillar. That's a ladder. Foundation. That is some sort of wall. Again, with a gradient, we've got another rug. That is definitely a turret of sorts. That looks like the back of a pigeon. Imagine it's a pigeon detective movie. And he's just solved the crime, but at huge personal expense. And he's gone to the drive at the hill that looks over the city and the sun setting and you got the 80s music and he's facing away looking over the town and he's got his hands in its pockets and he's just looking over as the camera just very slowly pans out pigeon detective that's a rifle armor pants helmet 
gauntlets, boots, headphones, nice. That, I don't know why an hourglass, like a boxed hourglass, or is a box. That's a relicant, which is a, a prehistoric Pokemon. That looks like a shark. That's a peach, you can see the little stalk. That's definitely a, a plant grow bed of some sort. I don't have a clue what that is. Looks like a bench or a table, pillars, door frame, more vertical rugs, wallpaper. Uh, some power generator, power generator. That looks like an X-Wing thing. It's not an X-Wing, but like, you know what I mean. Uh, that looks like a wall, wall, picture frame, gum shield, and some sort of bird device. The tech gear wouldn't be too much use for us if we couldn't get our hands on some more element. I presumed that the harder the boss difficulty, the more the element that would drop. I wasn't sure whether each boss would drop the same amount of element or not either, but we would soon find that out. Before that though, we decided to visit another cave in the hope of getting lucky with a supply drop. Ah, it was here. It was here. Right. Um. I can't remember. It's genuinely all... Oh, where's my um, hatchet gone? It's genuinely all blended into one. So let's be careful here. If this is a droppy droppy place. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I remember this one. Is this the one with the big, that also has a big drop? Holy shit. Oh, Barney has malaria. I have mega rabies, that's a sorry. I don't have mega rabies anymore. I keep calling it malaria. Oh shit, and no, that's the dung beetle. My bad, my bad, my bad. Wait, this isn't the lava cave. No, 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 the lava cave's on the south, south edge. Oh, look, there's one. That green or yellow? I want to say green, yellow. Ooh, oh, oh. Three ascendant things and not much, not much for us. What, 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 what was it? Oh, oh, game, don't do this to me. I think it was. I think it was. We literally seen it here, I think. Oh, yeah. One of the ones was underwater. Right. Where's that thing? But yeah, I, do, I didn't realize that this was here. We might as well get the. Oh, is that another broodmother one? I tell you what, if all of these caves are as easy to get to, we, we could literally farm the broodmother on Alpha. On Gamma, even. I think Alpha's the harder one. Okay. Just quickly grab it. Nice. Okay. So we hadn't had the best of luck with the supply drops. Whilst it was nice and all to get our hands on some more artifacts should we need them, what we really wanted was juicy loot. So we figured that maybe it was best to make a start on our preparations for the boss, rather than just do cave runs over and over and over. And this began by taking a trip to the top of the mountain. We wanted to double check what artifacts we needed for the tribute. I'm hungry. Okay, right. And get my camera ready. Oh, I don't like it when it's... This is like being in the ocean. Being in a... It is. It is the ocean, right? Because clouds and water. That's why I don't like going through me when I'm in planes. I can't see nothing, mate. Oh, I hate this. Hello? Helped you out. <laughs> oh, it made me feel all kinds of things. All kinds of gains. Right. We don't get any UTs up here now that are going to mess with me if I put my boots on the ground. No. Mammoths, please stay away. Right. So, I'm not cold with Otty around my neck, which is brilliant. Okay, so we need to bring Otty into the fight. And then... Oh... <laughs> it is the monkey! Oh, the tech rep replicators appeared. Right. We need... Ah! Brute, Devourer, and Pack. Artifact of the Brute. Artifact of the Devourer. Devourer. An artifact of the... Devourer. 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 An artifact of the Pack. Shit, I brought my set of pearls with me. Right. <sighs> is there any need for us to wait and stall anymore? I don't think there is. Okay, that took us a while, but we've got two vital pieces of information. One, what artifacts we need to bring in. Two, 
I think there's a legendary up there. And, and two, that we should be fine with Otty around our neck, but I will bring like a Friar's Curry just in case. Just in case. With nothing more to it, we headed back home to begin our preparations for the big monkey boss. We had been unfortunate not to get any better loot in our cave travels, but given our dominance for the Broodmother, I felt like we were in a good position still. Oh! <laughs> so we have quite a lot of Rexes. <laughs> Look at this! That's insane. That's ridiculous. Um, so, what well, the good thing is, though, is that means that if everything goes wrong, we, uh, we've got more Rexes. However, what I am worried about is, um, this shotgun. This is the only thing that we have which is completely and utterly irreplaceable, and we've not found anything even like it. We do have a 200% shotgun, but this is a 700% one. So I really, really don't want to lose this, but it's all that we have, so... Yeah, right, um... Let's start the prep. Let's start the prep. I'll take I'll take it. I'll take you through it with me. Usually, usually I don't do these things and just let narration books take over, but I'll take you with me. Because we actually have nearly everything that we need. Fryer stew. I think no curry, that's what we need. Uh that's enduro. Here we go. The spicy vegetarian dish fills the body with a comfortable warmth. So we'll take three of them just in case. Okay. Now. I did check at the very, very beginning when I cryoed all of the Rexes that they are in good shape. They're pretty much all max health. And some of them are like a couple of pixels off, but yeah. He's got time for that. Um, so that's fine. So we won't need the Kalian soup. So let's throw that back. Is Four, four of them will be enough because you do get quite a long duration on them. Um, shotgun is 186 bullets going to be enough. Can I make any more just now, just to be safe? Uh, simple bullets and metal ingots. I think we might run out of metal ingots, maybe. Metal ingots. Uh, if I say I want to make 50 of these. Oh, no, never mind. If I say I want to make... Where am I going? 50 of these. Oh, I do have enough. Right, we'll craft all of them. Get some more shotgun bullets just to be safe. Um... Grappling hooks. Oh, check. Uh, how's my armor doing? Oh, pretty hurt actually. Yeah. So let's do some. Um, let's do some repairing. So get all of this off. Oh, they can stay on. So how many? We got hundred. We can three. So I don't know. Fifty. We can make thirty-four. We'll make thirty-four extra bullets. That'll be okay. <clears throat> right. Um. We also want to get these repaired so we need more metal ingots for that so i'll quickly grab some ah, i've not done a metal run in a while oh fuck please let that just be enough it wasn't enough in fact it was far from it we were short on metal obsidian for the polymer that we needed to craft and silica pearls we decided that we might as well take the time to go on a quick resource run so that we could enter the battle with the boss in the best condition possible I don't... I've only got... This is going to sound nerdy as hell. I've only got one sample size to compare the bosses to. I've only done one boss. So, do each of the three bosses follow the same mechanics where it's basically just an enemy, but it has more health than usual? Or is there more mechanics to the thing? So, if I think... What I, what I would have thought with the spider is there would have been more webbing involved. So, if we look at the big monkey, what is he going to have a jump on him? Is that going to make it quite difficult? Like, or is it just going to be exactly the same? Where there'll maybe be a bunch of like yetis or something that are like his minions and whatnot. I just don't know. So again, I don't know if I'm under preparing, if I've over prepared. Um, I won't know until I try it. Okay, right. Let's get this bad boy filled up. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go get some silica pearls from the ocean. Well, not the ocean. The lake. I don't want to look back at this and go, I was this close to defeating the boss. And if I'd have, if I'd have like just taken the time to do it, this and that, then I would have been fine. You know what I mean? We then went out to collect some silica pearls and then some obsidian so we could repair the armor. Yada, yada, yada. Listen. 
We all know that you did not come here to watch me fill my pockets with pearls. You came here to see me take on the boss and discover what went horribly wrong, as I alluded to in the beginning. So let's cut to the chase, shall we? Okay, right, I took a picture because I'm smart. So let me just get that up and then we're gonna we're gonna pick it up. I know one of them was the green one. Right, Brute, Pack, and Devourer. I think this is the pack one, I think. Uh, artifacts of the pack, correct. Right, so it's still there. Oh, that's why, because I need to do that. Huh? Pack, Devourer. Are you the Devourer? Cunning, Brute. Need that. Need that one. Brute. And now just the Devourer, which is this one. Devourer, okay. Pack. Devourer Brute. Pack Devourer Brute. Got him. You got him, got him, got him. Save the game. Let's go. For real this time. 360. Our gear was repaired. Our ammo replenished. Our 18 dinos and one pig safely tucked away in our cryopods. We had everything possible that we would need to hopefully take down this beast. We climbed atop of Frank, our ever faithful Uti, and headed off towards the snowy mountain. This was when the nerves started to build. Whilst I felt like I had prepared well, the what ifs started to creep in. What if I had underestimated this? What if I lose my dinos? What if I die? What if I lose everything? What if? How am I supposed to... Oh, ah, oh. Hello. Right. I don't want to accidentally take any of these mammoths with me. So we might need to do a little bit of species cleansing here. And I'm very, very sorry about it. Okay. We know the drill now, so uh, let's start getting these, uh, getting these bad boys out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to do this, but it's a little bit too busy here for me. Just get him, just get him, get him gone, get him gone. Get him gone. And this one. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's out of necessity rather than malice, if that makes you feel any any better at all. Oh, for the love of fog. We cleared the area of these majestic mammoths. A casualty which could not be avoided, but one is equally regrettable. Now that the area was clear, we used the cryopods to get all of the dinos out into the circle. Our tactic was going to be the same that we had used for the broodmother. The healing pig was to follow me on passive. I was to be astride the Uti, staying far back and roaring at the Rexes, who would be on aggressive, attacking anything that moved. Once we had everything in place, it was time. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Right, yeah, we've got them all. Okay. What we're gonna do is get all of these guys like statted up right now. Oh come on. Come on. Just don't panic. That's all you've got to do is not panic. Right. Is that everybody kind of full? Okay. Going to hop down. Uh, okay. And then... Okay. Here we go. Artifact of the pack. Artifact of the devourer. Artifact of the brute. Are we ready? Oh, my heart. My heart. My heart. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hop on. I'm on. Come on. Come on. 
<clears throat> Come on. Right, we got this. Shit, is that... That time's in, right? Yeah, he is. I think he's kind of half in. I hope that means he's in. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh. Shit. Get on. Oh! What the fuck? It's a temple. It's not an arena. Hold up. Right, okay. Hold up. Where's, where's the pig? Where's the pig? Where's the pig? Where's the pig? Okay, I was expecting to come into this instantly. Right. Uh, you behavior is... Ignore group whistles. And you are on passive. And you... Follow me. And you... Okay, right. We just need to get the UT out. What I'm noticing here is a lot of big drops. Which isn't the most fun. Okay. Okay. Right, for the love of God. Nobody fall off. Okay, all follow me. Is that it? I see a health bar. I see a health bar. Oh god, it's there, it's there, it's there. Shit! And then everybody is aggressive! Charge! Oh shit! A thousand damage! Oh! Oh, get the dinos in here! Get the dinos in here! Get the dinos in here! Dinos! Ignore them, ignore them, ignore them, ignore them, ignore them. Not the time to shit. Not the time to shit. Right. Get behind the Rexes. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Keep, keep the roaring. Keep the roaring. Oh, shit. There's more of them. Oh, we've got this. No problem. We've got this. No problem. I'll get up high. Yes. Get in. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yes! Come on! Oh! Right, everybody just over that side. Everyone over that side. Where's where's this thing? Does he not have a like a a, a thing? Wait, wait, I need I need the I need the stuff. Oh wait, no, is is it is it gone? Like is is it, the, the bag, you know the, the you know what I mean, like the bag. Where did he die? If any of you guys got it, if any of you guys got it. Oh no. Am I not gonna have any? I'm not gonna have any like uh, elements, no? Oh, is it is it hidden somewhere? Is it hidden? I don't know how long I've got. <laughs> no way. We did it so fast. Why does it not give me longer? Oh, no. I think may maybe one of the Rexes has got it. Maybe. Maybe maybe one of the Rexes. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll just get on. Oh. <sighs> Come on. I think the clouds are a bit OTT, if I'm being really honest. What should have been a euphoric victory in destroying the second boss turned out to be an episode of disappointment. We had the satisfaction of beating the boss, but we didn't have the trophy. The trophy that we needed to get into the tech cave. More so, we also didn't get any more elements. I checked everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I double checked each of the Rex's inventory to see if they had picked it up, but nothing. This would mean 
we would have to revisit the caves to get the artifacts again. I didn't know it yet, but one of these caves was the underwater one. Whilst we didn't have the trophy, there was a small consolation prize of the flag, so at least we could decor our home with our achievements, even if we knew deep down that we would have to do it all over again. I had no idea why the trophy did not drop. I don't know if it was something that I did, or if there was a minimum difficulty for the boss. So many questions. Alright, well, we, we got some re-fertilizer and some, like, organic polymer and stuff, but, um, I'm still narked about not getting the, um, <clears throat> the trophy. Uh, I'm just gonna put all of this shit in here. Right, so, we, d I mean, we might as well put this up. We, d we do have the flag, we just weren't given the trophy, which is rather disappointing. Alright, so let's get this up here, and then bosh. Okay, uh, where do I want this going? Probably, probably next to it. Yes, look at that. Oh, that's a cooler flag in my opinion. The monkey one. Okay, right. We're gonna... We're gonna have to fix that problem another time. But I think what we do is we still focus on the next boss, the third one, which I think is a dragon i think uh, the red obelisk um we'll focus on that and then once we've hopefully got through that with no problem uh we'll then be able to maybe address the issue of not having the 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 the, the trophy thing but let's not let that take let let's let's not let that take away from what we've just done today which was defeated the second boss we are two for two right now and again there wasn't too much issue however there was capabilities of losing everything there. I think if we'd have fought the gorilla and it wasn't in that little kind of like enclosed bit, a lot of the dinos could have fallen off there. So I don't know. I think that was probably harder than the Broodmother one. No idea what the next one is though. Troops, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, now is a really good time to do so. If you're watching the outro screen to one of my videos and need to say more. And um, if you are subscribed and you haven't hit the like button, please make sure you do hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.